So, Giga Chikadze, uh first most important question, obviously, is did you get your phone back from Ali? I mean, that's what everybody wants to know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. Obviously, I'm like 24-7 with Ali on talk. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, but, you know, we got a business to do this weekend. Very important. Very the first step to do it, and then we'll see what happens. You know, so far, nothing is official. I know what you are aiming for you know <laughs> and i even had a, a quick chat with dana since i was at pi we had little interactions there and uh yeah he said you're right there yeah and handle your business and then we we will talk after so that's so awesome even, even more motivation i got from that you know for sure all right so let me ask you so initially you hear Max Holloway's out. Alexander Volkanovsky needs a challenger. But it's funny timing, right? Because you're in the middle of getting ready for a really dangerous opponent, a really big fight. So what were your initial thoughts? I mean, I know you got to be excited thinking, okay, title shot, but you can't let yourself get distracted as well, right? So what was the what what was your initial thought process? Yeah, the first thing I, t I was talking to myself, you know, Giga, chill. <laughs> you know, you have a business to handle very tough fight i feel like that's my the strongest opponent i ever faced and um i'm taking this obviously very serious but i was saying you know i got everybody's dream is to fight for title right <laughs> so once the, the opportunity kind of i see i saw this news you know uh i started to get more excited but um, i was calming myself down you know like okay we have things to do. Don't get too much excited. Might get somebody else, you know. So I don't have to be frustrated with anything, and I don't have to be too excited neither. So the, it's it's you know the you beat the guy who's number five. You beat number guy eight guy. You beat number fifteen guy. So you get you getting in this um, all this. Uh, up and up and up you climb the stairs and uh, rankings and then obviously there is nothing to uh, hide from, from you you know it will the chance i know it will come uh and if it's going to be sooner rather than later i'll take it you know i would be more happier to take it because uh, i'll be fighting the uh, multiple fights uh, per day uh, in kickboxing per Karate, I was fighting even five to seven times a day. You know, that's how I grew up. That's all I've been doing. That's why I'm, I've been always uh, trying to cover more fights, to get more fights, because it, I'm kind of fightaholic, you know, like, you know how people are workaholic. I'm a fightaholic, you know. <laughs> so, I like it. I like it. So let me ask you, Geek, I mean, Obviously, you said you, you, it's everybody's dream. You're working towards it. You're going to be patient. But I mean, I, I guess is there a danger this week of being distracted, of of not of not focusing on what's going on? I mean, do you want to keep talking about this and campaigning for it, or do you feel like, hey, we got to stop talking about this title shot stuff, and and I really got to just bear down on on, on Calvin right now? Uh, yeah, I, I concentrated on the. Calvin fight the more and most, you know, I, I, this is what I have in my hands, you know, I, this is already what lined up and uh, I have a, the strongest opponent I ever faced. I believe so, you know, it's a very strong fight, but um, I just want to warn everybody that I have a fight this weekend and I've been knocking out the people that no one would believe I was going to knock them out. In a minute, in a in a striking way, in this, in that. So, yeah, you know, I just want them to open their eyes and watch this weekend uh, very well and after this to make decision. So I'm just concentrating uh, to perform the best I've ever been because I'm in a great shape. No injuries are bothering me <laughs> finally. My conditioning looks good. My wrestling looks great. Um, yeah, so I'm super excited. That's awesome. Are you, 
I mean, what would what would you say if they did make an announcement? I mean, do you do you think they would? I mean, did they give you their word like, hey, we're gonna wait till Saturday? I mean, you never know, right? The UFC could come out tomorrow and make something. I mean, would that upset you? <sighs> I want to skip this question so bad. <laughs> 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 how would you feel of course obviously you know i'd be upset be upset you know uh, absolutely i would be super upset because they just need to wait a couple of hours for me you know like let me do my thing and let's talk after let's talk about anything you know i i understand that they need to start uh, all the videos and to market the show and i get everything but Time is right now, and uh, this, my fight is not two weeks after. It's like five days. That's it. So I don't think that, that's a big deal for them. Yeah. Hey, maybe you can give them another highlight that they can throw on the marketing reel, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, that is, I, I have so how many minutes uh, they're going to give me on ESPN. I'm going to market the next show very well, and then here we go, pay-per-view, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Hey, last thing I did want to ask you about, it, though, uh, the conversation with Dana White, how did that go? I mean, was it like a formal meeting, or did you just see him, and, and you ran up to him and said, I'm going to take advantage of the moment? Like, how, how did that go? Uh, so I was training, um, kind of go weight, obviously. I was doing light bike ride, and once I finished and I came out from the bike, he was doing his thing. He was working. Uh, so I don't know what was the thing for him. Maybe he came to see me, but we, we kind of, he stopped by. I met, like it was like, right, we met each other uh, and we had a couple of minutes with we'll talk and everything <laughs> go went the way I really wanted to see. So I'm super excited, man. I have... I've been training these fights for a long time, and I've been impressing the boss as well. And I just want uh, next highlight this weekend, you know. So first thing first, and we'll see what happens. I dig it. Well, listen, you've got you've got a lot of respect for Calvin. That's clear. Uh, I mean, at the end of the day, when you look at this fight, are we looking at Calvin's boxing versus your kickboxing? Are you expecting a more you know well-rounded type mixed martial arts fight? What what, what do you see when you break this fight down? Definitely, he has a heavy hands, you know, that's his weapon, that's how the, the guy finishes his fights. Uh, but also, I know as a fact that he's from the wrestling background, and everybody has been talking about me, the best striker, best striker, and pure striker, and no wrestling, no ground game. So I, I'm assuming that he's going to try to take me down either. But there is so many things people don't know about me and I'm excited to show, you know, I want him to try to wrestle. I want him to try to do grappling with me, you know, and uh, plus don't forget guys, I'm a ninja. You know, when I go there, all I know is knock the fuck out people, you know, <laughs> and uh, yeah, then I'm going to go there, be me, be ninja and handle my business. I like it. What would mean more to you then? Do you think it would be a a, a knockout as as we know you for, or a little sneaky submission or something in there? Show the world you got something a little different out there. Uh, he's a he's a best boxer, former one of the best boxer in uh, you know. Be, people been talking before Max fight that he was the best boxer in UFC. So I'm excited to show them you know, what is my boxing about. You know, people don't know about how I got into US. I had an opportunity to start boxing career. You know, Nazim uh, Richardson, the coach of the Bernard Hopkins, they've been talking to me uh, and they got me the visa to come and be a sparring partner of Bernard Co Hopkins for Kovalov fights when he was fighting him in 2015. Uh, 14 or 15 i forgot and um yeah my boxing is uh, pretty damn good shout out to brick house boxing gym as well where i train my boxing these days yeah giga you got surprises every time i talk to you you got some new story that, that i'm like what what <laughs> i had no idea that's incredible so, all right so now you're gonna go out and try to put on a boxing clinic because that's what i'm hearing yeah but remember I'm a ninja, you know, when, when opportunity comes, I might kick him, I might do some nasty boxing. Um, 
I might get some the sneaky Giga Plata, you know, <laughs> <laughs> which people don't know about it. So I have a lot of surprises, definitely, John. And uh, every single time I show up there, I'm very excited to bring some new weapons to them and see. Uh, if you remember, I mentioned long time ago that they only have seen the 20% of Giga. Maybe now they are at 30%, 35, you know. So now I'm going to get bring some extra salt on top and they're going to see a little bit more of a Giga. I love it. Well, Giga, I know this is uh, an exciting time for you, but I know you got to shift your focus back to the main event at hand. So uh, I'll let you get settled into Las Vegas and uh, I'll see you at media day. But I just had to pick your brain now as uh, fight week gets started. So appreciate your time as always, my man. Thank you very much. Big shout out to my sponsors, Monster, uh, Chara Bread. Uh, uh, also, I have to mention the Petrocas Energy Group and uh, big shout out as well, the doctors who helped me to recover, uh, Seraphim from Beverly Hills Stem Cell Therapy and Dr. Mora. Thank you, John, for your time and for your talking. Oh, it was a pleasure, brother. Now, just be sure and keep your phone safe. Keep the phone away from Ali, man, all right? <laughs> <laughs>